Hey up, Johnny here, and on this Mantic Monday, we're going to be learning how to build some of the vehicles for Firefight. This week, it's the turn of the Veermen to have their vehicles built, and it is the excellent Tunneler. So as we all leave the videos I've been through and I've cleaned off all the flash and any mould lines or anything like that, there really isn't actually that many on the uh, Tunneler. It's very quick and simple, easy to put together kit without too much work. So two main body parts. They go together like so, with a blob of glue. Like that. So you're looking for this flat bottom to be lined there, and then you've got these two holes here that go together. And then you've got these detailed panelling that go in these recesses here, like so. Clip that in place. So again, this side. There we go. And then we take the back piece and if you look at the uh, piece on here, you've got the rivets down this side, this is the front, and then these notches here, this is the back. Again, notch here, front. So then you can line this up. Those plugs there. Because what that does is that leaves you this gap here for the track to sit in there. Clips in like so. Moving on to the tracks. These two pieces are identical and symmetrical, so there's no worry about getting one wrong. And just go in these lugs here. and clip into place and then the same on the other side like that so you pop the compartment to the side for now and then you want all these front end sections and you've got a decision to make to whether you would like to have a closed door at the front, so we've imagined that with just the drills on, or we have the two weapon options as well. And I'm sure with some jiggery pokery, somebody would be able to have a look and work out a way of magnetizing or not gluing certain sections so you can have both swapped out. Um, I've not actually built one of these before, so I'm not uh two oh fay with how that would uh, would work but we'll have a look as we as we go along so first of all you want to take uh sorry this section here and these three little arms and these slot in and these two little notches into here now there isn't particularly a right way or a wrong way it will basically determine as to whether you have all your drills when it's closed pointing inwards or whether you will have them all pointing outwards like seen on the uh, images on the website or on the box art. And it's really just preference as to I'm going to be trying the inwards technique uh, way of doing it for this one. So for that, take the arm pieces. If I remember this rightly, it's going to want to go in this way. You've got all the detail facing outwards. And then when you put your drill on, it will be facing inwards. Obviously, if you want to have it uh, the other way around, I'll show you with this one. So you want that facing uh, outwards. You'll put it in 
like so and then your drill would be facing outwards like that there we go now at this stage I'm just going to set that to one side and pull out this piece and then pick a weapon see they've got these little notches for them to fit there they do fit very snugly in so you may be able to get away without putting any glue in and then when we come to actually fixing the whole front to the main vehicle there might be a way that we can have a look at having that so that you can take these out and change them over so let's just pop that in like so without any glue for now and then this if I can spin this without those falling out there we go sits so you've got these grooves here sits on the top in here like that this is the bit that you, you do want to glue in so what I'll do is I'll actually pop that out for now so I don't risk getting any glue on it and then just a little splodge on each of these again not wanting to get glue everywhere because you want these to still be able to move or you might not and you might want to just glue everything in place solid that is obviously a choice that you can make There we go. Let's set that aside to dry for a moment. So while that's drying, I'm going to take my front compartment and this section, because these can go on separately. I run a bead of glue around this section a bit there as well. And then this just slots on like that. Looking at this, I think with a magnet or two, you can definitely get away without gluing that in place, and then you'll be able to get behind it and change the weapon option. Don't go telling Ronnie that I keep giving you great tips that save you buying extra vehicles. Just go buy extra vehicles anyway, because they're great, and why would you not want lots and lots? But having the option to be able to uh, change them around is still obviously fantastic. So, I'm gonna, in fact, no, I'll leave that for now because what we'll do is we'll put these these drills in place while this is still a bit smaller and easier to uh, to handle. So, pop the glue around these. And these just sit on there like so and then as I say if we've then not glued these in these still all come together like so and then take our weapon and we bob that inside so you've got one there or the other they both have the exact same join so they are able to be swapped out like so and then to attach it to the uh, main vehicle you've just got these two notches here that line up here and as I say definitely think you'll get away with a magnet on there and then you can swap that out just put that to one side for now. So then the final bit is these two sort of dozer blades that sweep in every, everything uh, into its path. These just clip on, oh sorry, just glue on to these bits that pop out there, like so. So again, a little bit of glue on there, like. Like so. 
same again. And there we are, that is one finished tunneler with all its options available. Right, well, that was a lot of fun to build. I've not built one before. It was a great experience. Um, definitely going to be getting some of these and the extra compartments and seeing how big a train I can run around the uh, the main marketing office and annoy everybody else. Hope you've enjoyed that and tune in again next Monday for another firefight build. Thank you.